the digital revolution had already started when Web Summit came to Lisbon. But we must admit Web Summit was a jump for Portugal, for Web Summit, and I think for the world. You have the figures. We started and uh, I said, the first time, it, it will be a revolution. And then the pandemic came and it didn't stop Web Summit. We had it once digitally, it's not the same thing. But we overcame that small problem called pandemic and then there came a war. We are in the middle of a war. It's not a local war, it's not a continental war, it's not a regional war, it's a global war. Yes, we know it. <clears throat> it's a question of balance of powers, and who knows of another international order. We don't know yet. It went on. And when we look at this year's Web Summit, we find out that everyone wants to come to, to Web Summit. And I travel a lot. I was in California a month ago, and then in Malta, and in Cyprus, in Ireland, and so on, so on, so on. And everywhere, one spoke to me, even in Ireland, they spoke to me about Lisbon Web Summit. One exception, I was in Brazil. They spoke of Brazilian Web Summit. <laughs> I intend to, to be there. Well, if it happens, I'll be there. So, and this changed the face of Lisbon of Portugal. And in a sense, I felt we were just as we were, however, in a dictatorship. It was completely different. Now it's freedom and democracy. During the Second World War, Lisbon was where people felt safe. And now I felt the same. Lisbon was seen everywhere, in Africa, in Latin America, in Asia, and in the, so many countries of Europe, as a kind of an island in the middle of the ocean, of the Atlantic Ocean, European but not really too European, far away from the war. And tourism came to Lisbon, and we meet them, and they feel they are not near a war. They are far away from it. And they feel safe in Lisbon. Foreign investment, the same. It's going up. Coming from Asia, not really to Eastern Europe. It's too close to the war. Not really to Eastern Mediterranean, but to Atlantic countries. And Lisbon and Portugal are the case. Because it's also psychological. And Web Summit helped a lot, helped a lot. Not only changed the face of Lisbon and the face of Portugal, and uh, in the beginning there were so few startups. The first exercise we're doing today was with uh, 20, 30 startups. Very few women, very few women, mostly men, not so young. That is one exception. Where is he? The one I like a lot because he's 72 years old. Where is he? The one of the diagrams. <laughs> ah, there you are, 72. You are a hero. Uh, I, I, I'm about to be 74. I haven't yet invented a startup. Well, <laughs> something is missing in my life. <laughs> well, and from those startups, some of them became unicorns. And Portugal, all of a sudden, is about to have between seven and ten Winnicott. This happened in less than six years. It's amazing. It's amazing because usually one thinks these kind of civic revolutions, of cultural revolutions, are very slow. Very, very slow. In this case, it was not slow at all. It was an, at a very impressive pace. And when I look at what we heard today, we had today what? The real problems of today's world, which are 
migrations, oceans, energy, real estate, new forms of investment, new brands, and then, and then of course, music. Music means multilateralism. The success of that idea is the success of multilateralism, a way of having an universal dialogue, and music is one of it, at the moment of unilateralism and bilateralism. And Portugal is being, always, always will, will be, a place of multilateralism, a platform among cultures and continents. Even one is aligned, helping one of the two faces of the war, we go on keeping relations with every continent where people far away feel that that's a, a, a war that for us is difficult to understand. I was in Mozambique, <coughs> in Guinea, in Angola, and uh, African countries, Brazil twice. And, uh, and people felt we need multilateralism back to fight against climate change, to solve the problems of the, the ocean, to deal with migrations. It's impossible to do it with just a superpower, two superpowers, or three superpowers. Those that are merging, those that are, that are submerging. It's impossible. It's impossible. And that's why you are in the right place for this moment of the world's history. And the Web Summit is in the right place. It is Lisbon. It is Portugal. It's Europe, but not too much Europe. It's Western, but not too much Western. It's close to Africa. Bridges with Africa. Close to Latin America. Bridges with the different Americans, the Northern Atlantic and the Southern Atlantic. Close to Asia, although it doesn't seem so. And this is our strength. And I must congratulate Pat, because he understood it. And it was hard to understand it. He understood it. And he kept on fighting against the pandemic, against the war in the sense of overcoming the period of war, thinking of peace. And that's why I feel that it will be a success this year. I'm sure it will be. And next year, and next year, until one finds out a better place. It's always possible to find a better place. Nothing is eternal, and it's the President of Portugal that says it. But for the moment being, this is the best place to have people coming from all around the world, Russian, Ukrainians, Chinese. In the fair, the book fair of Frankfurt, that usually has all the publishers of every country of the world, the Chinese didn't come. The men didn't come. Some of them on account of the pandemic, others on account of the war. It's not the case of Web Summit. Everybody will be here. So thank you very much because this is the, uh, the same wave going up, going up, going up. It's unstoppable. Thank you.